Welcome back, welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso only on SABC3. Like I said a little bit earlier on, and we're jumping into the kitchen with a lovely Claire Allen, food is love, food blogger. And you know what? If you an avid Pinterest user, you, I'm sure you would have come across this recipe. Apple roses, it's all the rage at the moment. Absolutely. People love making them. And now we're gonna learn how. Claire, lovely yeah. to have you. Thank you, it's really quick and easy. So I know we spoke earlier about how much you hate peeling apples. You know what, <laughs> this is this is the part that I wouldn't like so much as cutting them so fine, but I'm sure there's an easy way yeah. to do so it. Yeah, so luckily for this, you don't have to peel your apples. Yeah. Keep your skin on, because that's what gives that lovely red rose. Ah. So we're gonna take apples, you just need to core them and um, slice right. them up nice and thin. Keep the skin on, put okay. them in a bowl with some water, half a glass of water and um, some lemon juice. Put them in the microwave for three minutes, they get a little bit tender. Okay. And then it's really quick and easy to take Take some puff pastry, store bought, you don't have to make anything. You roll it out and you take dice strips All right. of the puff pastry. You paint them with some melted butter. You paint them with some melted Melt, butter. Melted butter. butter. Butter makes everything taste good. It's sunny, that's exactly what Zola says. Anyway. <laughs> We're so in agreement with that, absolutely. Yard, you know? there's, three, there's three important ingredients in the kitchen. That's butter, butter and butter. <laughs> butter, butter and butter. So we oh, actually, butter is more better, that's what Exactly, so what we're Thank basically doing is I'm making almost like little mini apple pies. So we've taken the butter, we're going to do some cinnamon. Okay. And we've got some salati sugar here. Lovely, lovely. You what add, you, no, 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 camera. Yeah, so you can add more cinnamon to your taste. I like it nice and... The more cinnamon, the better for me. That's as it, well. because I mean, apples and cinnamon, we know this. I mean, exactly. it's such a winning combination as well. That's it. So, if you would like to get your hands on the recipe, all you need to do is SMS the keyword salati this morning to 33728. That's salati to 33728, and uh, we'll send you everything you need to know so that you can make your very own apple roses at home. That's Perfect. it. So, this is nice and fun to get the kids involved as well. So, you've done this, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your rose, your flowers. Sorry. Just lay it like that. And I noticed that you're using the white sugar specifically, which will be, of course, like we all know, it's, it's great in your coffees and teas, but good for baking as well, because especially if you think, think about it, you don't want your, your, your bake to, to change color. Exactly, which exactly. Is great. So we're just going to layer that up and we're going to fold it over and it just goes over the edge of the pastry. Right. So this is why you should actually just put them in the microwave with that solution. What did you say? Lemon juice Lemon and juice and some water. Some water so, so that you can actually, at the end of it, you know, play around with it. It's yeah, you don't want it to supple. be raw because you want it to bake, but um, you don't want it to be still tight. Um, yeah. Cooked. I and mean, you want it to be cooked. You want it to be nice and soft and tender. That's it. So we're just getting the best ones here. I'm going to layer it up. And okay. then, do you want to roll it? N no, not really. <laughs> not really. Um, okay, I so what you're just... going to do is you're going to fold your pastry up. Okay. And you're going to make almost like a little bit of a fold, yeah? And you're okay. going to do that up there. Jeez, like it that. Over, just like that. Yeah, no, I'm glad you're doing it. No, but the pressure's on because now. <laughs> so I like if we get you to do it, then it's Look, not my fault. I, it wouldn't have come out as a rose at all, I think, if I did it. Okay, so just paint with a little bit of egg, and that's going to keep our pastry together and okay. bind it. All right. If you and want, you can add a little bit more cinnamon and sugar. It all depends on the diet. That's it. Um, but, I mean, cinnamon is, good, you know, cinnamon is good. You know, cinnamon is great. And sugar is actually sugar is really good for you. People have a bad connotation to sugar, but you know, as long as you don't really eat too good. much of it. Exactly. But look at how this is coming together. So now we start rolling it up nice and tight. Oh my word. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. That Keep is incredible. And then you close it up. No way. And then we have our rose. And then what you do is you make sure it's nice and tight, and you put in your pre-sprayed <coughs> muffin tin. Put it in there and you bake it on 200 degrees for 45 minutes. Easy as that. Cooked, and then you have your final product. I can't believe it. All right, well, we're going to chat about that in just a second. But if you want to see those steps once again to make these beautiful apple roses, here we go. Place apple slices into a bowl with water and lemon juice, then microwave for three minutes. Mix sugar and cinnamon. Cut puff pastry in six pieces. Spread butter over the dough, then top with cinnamon sugar. Place apple slices along one edge of the dough. Fold bottom half of dough over the apple slices. Mix egg and water, then paint surface of dough with the egg wash. Sprinkle with more cinnamon sugar. Roll dough to form a rose-shaped pastry. Transfer roses to muffin tin. Sprinkle with a little more cinnamon sugar. Bake for 45 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to espressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. And there you have it. That keyword once again is salati. SMS at two three three seven two eight, and you could be a master baker and make your very own apple roses, just like Claire showed us this morning. Thank you so much. And this is a dusting of icing sugar, and you good to go. Absolutely.
perfect thing for tea time and it's a mini apple pie and it looks beautiful. I think it is amazing. Check it out, Salati 233728. But uh, for more beautiful on-trend sweet treats, you can make sure, of course, to tune into Afternoon Express this afternoon at 4 p.m. when Chef Michael Degg will be making white chocolate mousse using Salati Muscovado sugar. So all you need to do is log on to the Afternoon Express website, www.afternoonexpress.co.za to get the full recipe. Check it out, it's going to be delicious. But once again, here we go, Salati 233728 for our lovely apple roses. Claire, thank you very much thank for sharing morning. this morning. Cool. Looks beautiful. Mouth watering indeed. Guys, what do you think, eh? Oh, oh man, man. that looks delicious. Incredible. And it smells amazing. Well it's done, Claire. Apple. A work of art. So, of course, we had quite a serious discussion this morning about TB. Yeah. Please, if you are you know, have any of those warning signs, a persistent cough, just get it checked out, please, and get in there for that mass screening if you can. And it's we'll free. put the details. It is free, it is. guys. Protect your health <laughs> like you and protect you. your friends, <laughs> and you are our friends, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Too much. Bye -bye. Cheers, guys. Get out of here. Go. Go.